Okay, we've got a brand new battery. And the starter don't sound a whole lot better, I gotta tell you. I'm gonna give it a shot of starting fluid. Okay, let's try this again. I got my better set of jumper cables on here. Let's see what happens. Whoa, it fired! And my ground cable jumped off. Gotta find a better place to put the ground on. Okay, let's try it again. See if we get fire in the hole. Gonna fight me all the way along.
I'd say it sounds pretty good. Of course, it don't help that uh, my ignition wire was laying on top of the exhaust, but this is just a temporary setup. I'm pretty happy with that. Definitely needs a new starter. The battery was very helpful, and having full-size jumper cables was very helpful. My other cables that I had on there actually were getting hot or very warm and you heard how it smoothed out better once I got the uh, carburetor adjusted a little bit and then tuned in the points to get the dwell where it wanted to be so I'm very happy with that it sounds pretty good so my next step with this motor uh, I have the new starter should be here on Monday I'll throw that on and start it again Make sure it all works copathetically. Then I'm going to pull the flywheel off of this. And I'm going to remove the remains of the uh, electronic ignition. Which is right here. And uh, that goes, that's down behind the flywheel. And we'll take the carburetor and intake off it and plug holes up, probably take the exhaust off it, plug all the holes up, and then we'll uh, pressure wash this puppy and get her cleaned up. But, in the meantime, we are going to run the Goofy Cart with the Briggs & Stratton motor on it until I get this one ready to swap in there. Uh, there is a car show in our local area in June which is only like two or three weeks away and my goal is to get the goofy cart running and driving so that I can put it in that car show for a day and uh, I actually the fellow that I bought the parts motor from that the ignition system came off of that motor there he said that they have a car show every uh, what do you say every fourth Friday of the month in Camden which is local to me about a half an hour away so I could get it up there put it on the trailer and trailer it up there well we'll call this a success all the work we put into it was good the carburetor sounds good I've already cleaned the carburetor that came off the other motor and uh, this will be really look nice once it's all cleaned up and get some bling on it. Ooh -wee. Yes, three Bob. Thanks for watching, commenting, subscribing, thumbs up, all of them things. And uh, to new subscribers, thank you very much. Uh, it seems I've been getting quite a few hits on my uh, test drive of the Goofy Cart from two years ago, almost now. And I think we've gained some subscribers from that. And so um, I appreciate each one of you. Glad to have you commenting. And I try to reply to everybody's comment. And if you all would do me a big favor, every once in a while, if you would reply back to my reply to you, just so that I know that you're seeing them. I have no way of knowing if you guys are getting those comments or not. And uh, I can see I have to do some investigation here. See those markings in there? That looks like timing markings, don't you think? So I'm wondering how I can uh, adjust the timing on this without moving the key. Maybe that's what I got to do. If I have to, I'll do that. And uh, we can adjust our timing and see if we can get a little bit more umph out of it. This is going to have two carburetors on it, just like the Brinks and Stratton. Eventually. Whoop. And as you saw with this one carburetor, they have a fuel mixture adjustment on it. And we have the ability to adjust the points, which they are all adjusted now. And it sounds pretty good. The other thing would help is get regular cables on it.
Yeah. So until next time, this is George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man, saying thanks for watching and following along and commenting. More to come. Bye now.